Our 2013 CES coverage is powered by Ford. Go further. For Hack 5, I'm Darren Kitchen here at CES 2013, checking out some more cool stuff with Qualcomm Atheris. This time, we're looking at some products that are going into Alienware routers. This is going to be of interest to our hardcore networking and gaming enthusiasts. Tell me about the, the technology that's going into these products. Yeah, so we, it's a, techn a technology called Stream Boost, and what it basically does is it identifies exactly which application is running on any particular device in your network, and then basically it sets a policy on it, so it gives it the exact bandwidth and networking treatment that it needs. So for a game, for example, it says, hey, look, it's a specific game, like Call of Duty, it needs an exact bandwidth requirement, and then we make sure and ensure it has the lowest possible latency to give the gamer the best possible experience. How does that differ from some of the quality of service features that you would find in other you know, consumer routers, uh, some of the more high-end ones that we find today? So this is an advanced force of, of traffic shaping. So what today's routers do is they prioritize one application, but if that one application takes up all your bandwidth, there goes your entire home network. What we do is we basically say, hey, look, it's a particular application. Here's the critical bandwidth it needs. And then we make sure we allocate to as many different applications inside of your network as possible so more people can have a flawless experience in your home network given the ISP connection you have. So how does this differ from something like deep packet inspection? So we actually use a, a statistics-based engine where we look at a different attributes of a particular flow, and we can actually verify what that is. And then we can, so we can look at things and tell if, it, if it's encrypted, we can still tell what it is. And we can actually quickly on the fly with very little CPU actually detect all the different types of applications running on your network. So does that mean that I need to periodically ha get updates with different signatures for different traffic types? So that is the optimal way to do it. So if a new game comes out or a new application or a new device, what we actually do is we have an opt-in cloud service that basically is constantly monitoring traffic. And when something new comes out, it basically detects it and we will send it back down to that router in real time, and the router will basically be updated to detect that game or that application going forward. I like how you say opt-in cloud service. Obviously, uh, with a show like Hack5, people are very privacy concerned. Uh, you've shown me some really slick stuff that the cloud service does as far as actually mapping the different nodes on my network and what they're doing. Uh, what, are, you know, what can you tell me about privacy when it comes to that? So there's two things. So first of all, the cloud is absolutely opt-in. But second of all, even if you don't even opt into the cloud, we'll still give you the benefits of all the different detection and policy settings we're doing. All you basically have to do is go into your UI, upgrade the firmware, and it will include all of the latest and greatest. So you'll get the benefits of the cloud, even if you don't actually opt into the cloud itself. So you say with these signatures, you're able to you know, kind of build some heuristics on like, oh, this looks like Call of Duty, or this looks like this kind of traffic, and, and uh, you know, give it whatever it prefers. Um, you, and you say that you don't actually have to look at every single packet, so it's better on the hardware. But what is the hardware? Like, you know, we're very familiar with uh, Qualcomm Atheros chips here. Uh, what's under the hood? So we basically have a, a Qualcomm Atheros NPU. But the really cool part, the really cool chips that we're showing here is we have our 11, our Vive, which is the name of it, 11 AC hardware running in this product. So it's a 3x3 three three AC, 3x3N three three product that will give you, you know, 1.3 gigabits potentially of AC with another 450 of N, so that's an AC 1750 router. I like the way you did that. Okay, so um, uh, so is this a reference platform right now? Who are some of the partners? I know uh, uh, Alienware, uh, obviously, and um, and where is this product? Go? Is this an Alienware specific thing? So no, we're work we've been working with Alienware for a very long time. The, the, the cool part about Alienware is they make these beautiful machines that have the latest and greatest hardware in them, but they still are at the mercy of their network at certain times. So Alienware is forward thinking enough to say, hey, look, what's best for the gamer? Well, what's best for the gamer is actually controlling the entire ecosystem and saying, hey, when that packet first comes into the house, I'm going to control it as optimally as possible to make sure the gamer has the absolute best possible experience. All right. Uh, well, wouldn't you say, though, that uh, ultimately this is a, a social issue? Because if your roommate is watching Netflix while you're trying to game, obviously you need to kick your roommate out. <laughs> There's a lot to that statement right there. But the cool part is with, with a 10 megabit connection or a 5 megabit connection, you can actually do a lot more than you think if you organize your network well. What we've seen is with a 10 megabit, you can run a 1080p YouTube, a 720p YouTube, run two games, run a Skype call, and an iTunes all at the same time with no problem as long as you're traffic shaping your network appropriately. But with the standard router today that treats all different applications like they're exactly the same, you'd never possibly be able to do that scenario. This is really cool stuff. When can we actually expect this to be coming to our homes? So you, you'll see some versions of Stream Boost start as early as spring of this year. So cool. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. For continued coverage of all things CES 2013, be sure to head over to revision3.com. NPR has a great public radio app that is compatible with Ford Sync AppLink. This means that when you're in your car and you're on the go and you don't want to touch your phone, you don't have to. 
you have all your favorite playlists, all your favorite NPR shows right on your phone, ready for voice commands. Hourly News. I'm Louise Schiavone. House Republican leaders are challenging So the if you want to listen to your favorite shows like Morning Edition and All Things Considered, you just have them right there in your new Ford car. Thank you again to Ford for sponsoring this Hack 5 CES special.